What's up guys, it's King Josh back with another video and as you guys can see we have the NBA 2K20 demo. So today I'm going to try to replicate my 99 overall playmaking post score from NBA 2K19. So on the side here we do have four pie charts. One has finishing primary, that's kind of like an athletic finisher. One has shooting and finishing, kind of about the same. This build low-key might be one of the better builds in the game. One has playmaking and finishing about the same. And this next one here has defense and finishing about the same. So I'm going to go with the one that has playmaking and finishing about the same. That's the closest to my build now. And with these physical profiles, this first one has a ton of speed. The second one has a ton of strength. And this third one here is kind of like a combination. It does have lower vertical acceleration and speed, but the speed is only lower by three and the strength is higher than the first one by 22. So I think this here is the best one if I'm trying to create my build from NBA 2K19. So I'm pretty sure you guys do know this by now if you've been keeping up with the 2K news. So the way the badge system works, say I go to playmaking. If I increase my passing accuracy, you can see in the bottom right, my playmaking badges, I do get one as of now. If I raise it, it goes to five there. If I raise my ball handling, that goes to 12. And if I do max out my post moves, I get 25 playmaking badges. But it's not 25 total badges unless you want them all to be bronze. The way this works is I actually get 25 tiers of badges where bronze is one tier, silver is two, gold is three, hall of fame is four. So I can get six hall of fame and one bronze or any other combination using those 25 tiers. So I'm going to actually max out my playmaking. My passing accuracy will be 84. I think on my 2K19 build it's an 82. My ball control will be a 67. I think it's a 68 on my 2K19 build. And then post moves, I'm not 100% sure how that works because up here you can see there's post fade. I'm actually going to max that as well. And then there's post hook up here. So obviously I'm going to upgrade my shooting all the way. I do get a 71 mid range, which is much better than my 2K19 build. I get a three point shot of a 60, but I am going to show you guys something after this process. I get to choose my badges. Right now I have six tiers of shooting badges and I think I'm going to max out my free throw just for the sake of getting these badges. And obviously with this build, I do want to have a good driving dunk. I can get it to 81. For now, I'm just going to put my driving dunk to 80 because I think you need at least an 80 to get contact dunks. My driving layup, I'm going to put it to 70 for now. And my close shot, I'm going to put that a little bit higher to 80. Standing dunk, I'm going to put around 75. And then post hook, I don't really do post hooks. I'm going to leave that down for now so I can upgrade my defense. So interior defense, of course, I'm going to max that. Perimeter defense, I'm going to put that... I think max is fine because 66 still isn't that good. Same with lateral quickness. I'm just going to max that. And then defensive rebounding, I'm going to put to 70 for now. And I guess I'm going to use the rest on offensive rebounding. So my block and steal for now, they're going to be low. But I am fine with that because my other defensive stats are maxed. So right here, you can see I'm going to have 11 tiers of finishing, 13 of shooting, 25 of playmaking, and 1 of rebounding. So for now, I'm going to take away all the defense because I'm not even getting badges from that. And this is just the demo. So I think I'm going to upgrade my offense just to get the max badges possible. There's 15 there, uh, 16 there. So I'm going to try to get, let's see, 17, 18. Can I get, oh, I can get 20 from this if I put my close shot to an 88 and then the last 76 I'll put on interior defense and I guess rebounding I'll do that for now so for now this is how I'm going to keep my attributes I'm going to have 20 tiers to finishing badges 13 to shooting 25 to playmaking and only one for defense for the body type I was looking through them before when I created this build I actually created it once before but I'm going to change it up here make it a little bit better I'm going to go with the built because I think that does look the best and for the height I'm actually not sure because I want to go seven foot, but then if I do go 6'11", I'm so much faster. My ball handling's higher. Everything's higher. And as you can see, it started at 6'9", and my ball handling takes a huge hit if I go to seven foot and if I go to 6'11". So I think I'm going to go to 6'11". I think that is the better height for this build. And for the weight, if I were to go minimum weight, which I'm not, it only boosts my lateral quickness by one and driving dunk by one, it lowers the defense by a lot. I think I'm going to go max weight because it makes my defense go up a lot. My driving dunk and lateral quickness barely go down. I think I'm actually going to go 262 instead of max weight because if I go any higher than that, it's going to decrease my driving dunk. And then I'm just going to get a plus three to interior defense. I think that's the best for this. I'm actually going to check the speed. So the speed does not move at all as I move the weight, just the acceleration and vertical. So I'm just going to stick with 262, try to get a plus three to this without getting the minus one to driving dunk. And with the wingspan, if I were to lower it all the way, it just boosts my shooting by a little bit. If I keep it default, and if I do max it, it only makes my block go up by one, but it lowers a lot. So I might keep it all the way up just for the sake of shot contest. I think that's what I'm going to do. But if my block rating were higher, it definitely would make the block go up by more. So once I do upgrade the block, it will be higher. 
And for takeover, of course, I'm going playmaker. You guys already know. So 2K says my build is a post playmaker and I'm compared to Kevin Love, Karl Malone, and Blake Griffin. So I like that a lot, especially the Blake Griffin comparison. He actually is my favorite power forward in the league right now. And for this overall rating, the first time I tried out this player, I made it a 93. So these were the stats right here, as you guys can see on the left. But I think I'm going to make this a 99 just because I did have a 99 in NBA 2K19. And I want to see the max potential of this build. So we're going to go with 99. And this is the part where I messed up before. So for the badges, I have 20 available upgrades. As you guys can see, if I make it bronze, I get one upgrade, silver, two, and so on. So for this build, I think I'm going to try to get Hall of Fame Acrobat. I also want Hall of Fame Relentless for sure. Let's see, I might do Giant Slayer just because I'm 6'11". If I might need to make layups over 7'3 players, I'm going to put that to Hall of Fame for now. And I might do Contact Finisher. Consistent Finisher I don't need because I can time my layups. But the thing is, there are so many good badges. Like, I want Back Down Punisher. I want Drop Stepper. So for now, low key, I'm going to put all these to gold just so I have more upgrades. I'm going to do Relentless Hall of Fame though because that badge is amazing. So Slithery Finisher and Contact Finisher are pretty similar. I'm just going to put Contact Finisher to gold. And I think I'm going to put Drop Stepper to Hall of Fame for now. Now let's go to the shooting badges. So the thing about this player, if I go back here and look at my three-pointer, it's a 56, which is not good at all. But I can get Catch and Shoot Gold, Corner Specialist Gold, and then Dead Eye, Deep Fades. There are so many badges. I can even get Limitless Range, which is now called Range Extender. I could get that to gold if I wanted to. I'm not going to do that because my three-pointer is low already. So that's not really going to help. But I want to get Pick and Popper. I might do later on, but for now, I'm not going to get that badge. For now, I'm going to put Dead Eye to gold. I think I'm also going to do Deep Fades gold. And my Bronze badge... I don't know if I should do Hot Zone Hunter or Pick and Popper. I don't do Pick and Pops too much, so for now I'm either going to do Hot Zone Hunter or Hot Start. I think I'm going to do Hot Zone Hunter because I am going to be taking most of my shots in the corner since my three-pointer is so low. So that's kind of going to help me from the corner. It's going to be like a boost to corner specialist. So now going to the playmaking badges. I actually cannot get Ankle Breaker on this build, but if I do make a small forward, I can get Ankle Breaker Hall of Fame. So I might be making this build at 6'11", or I might be making it a small forward at 6'9". I really do not know yet, but for now, obviously Dimer is going to be Hall of Fame. Break Starter, I'm going to put to gold for now. Postman Technician, gold. Quick First Step might not be a good badge for my build, but it fits my playstyle really well, so I'm going to put that to gold as well. Unpluckable for sure Hall of Fame, so I don't get stripped as much. And since I am going to be running the break sometimes, I'm going to put Downhill to Silver for now. I might up that to gold later. And Tight Handles, I don't really know what that does because it is kind of similar to Ankle Breaker. I think I'm just going to put it to gold for now. And my last gold badge, I might do handles for days so I don't lose energy when I'm dribbling. Floor General is good. That's kind of like Dimer, just without the catching a pass, I believe. So I think for now, I'm going to... What should I do? What should I do? I think I'm going to lower Unpluckable and Dimer to gold for now. Put Floor General to silver and put handles... Actually, no, I'm going to put Handles for Days and Floor General both to Silver and put Dimer back up to Gold. I think that's what I'm going to do for now. And now going into the defensive badges, I think the best badge here is probably Rim Protector, so I'm just going to make that Bronze. For now, I'm actually going to take off Floor General. I could just add that later, if anything. I think that's how the badge system works. Like, I get more badges as I get more attributes. I really don't know. But I'm going to put Postman Technician to Hall of Fame, and I think I'm going to put Tight Handles to Hall of Fame. I don't really know what that badge does. Okay, so I decided that I am going to use my last upgrade and make Unpluckable Hall of Fame. So my Hall of Fame badges are Unpluckable, Postman Technician, Dimer, then the last two are Drop Stepper and Relentless Finisher. And I do have four gold badges here, Acrobat, Back Down Punisher, Contact Finisher, Giant Slayer, since I am 6'11", I am going to be going up against some 7'3 guys. Then the four gold shooting badges, Catch and Shoot, Corner Specialist, Deadeye, and Deep Fades. I do have two silver badges, Downhill and Handle for Days, and then my two bronze badges are Hot Zone Hunter and Rim Protector. So we are going to be going up against the Warriors. The only bad thing about this is I am going to be guarded by Draymond Green, so... That part is going to suck, but I'm going to try to see what this build is like with all these badges at 99 overall. Okay, let's see if I can score on Draymond. Let's see. Post spin technician. Still hard to get past him, but I do have drop stepper hall of fame, and I do end up making that shot. Let's see. How contested was that shot? That was 10% covered. Okay. Here, I'm going to try to take a fade. This meter is weird. Like, this is the same fade I have in 2K19, I believe, but it's hard to time because the meter just looks really weird to me. Okay, there. Now I got a green, but the first time I shot that, it was not good. Oh, mo Ibaka, move! Look at this! Move! Thank you. I'm trying to get open, but these guys do not know how to space the floor. 
Get out! I didn't even have to jump to block that. Oh yeah, fast break. Fast break, fast break! Okay, I like that dunk animation. I have that dunk in 2K19. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make shots. I'm tired. Come on. Oh my gosh! Okay, they're probably gonna double, so I gotta watch out for that. Okay, get out of the paint. There we go. Come on, please. Oh my, I made that. How contested was that? 84% and I made that. Wow. Come on, pull spade for the game. Green! Oh, that's game! Let's go! Let's go! That's game, baby! Buzzer beater green for the win. Look at Curry. <laughs> oh, let's go. That game was kind of bad, though. I shot 17 for 32. Not the best. I dropped 38 points, 4 rebounds, 3 assists, 2 blocks. I wish I got the chance to use takeover, but I had no idea you could call ISO until late in the game. And I'm not sure if I'm going to make this build in 2K20. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I might make this build a power forward 6'11". I might make it a 6'9 small forward. I might not even make it at all. I like how you could test the build, but the only bad thing about this demo is you can't change your animations. If I was able to test out a bunch of different dribble moves for big men, I would see if I could actually make this build, but I honestly have no idea right now. So I am going to be making two other builds. My plan before the archetype system dropped was to make a playmaking post score, which is what this build is most like, a playmaking stretch, which I might do if dribbling for big men is still good, which I heard that it's not. And then my last build will be some sort of slasher or shot creator. I just want to make a build that's similar to my 2K18 build. If you guys watched my channel back then, I had a playmaking slasher who could speed boost and get contact dunks. And I did find a build like that in this game. So I might make that build or I want to make a build similar to my 2K19 slashing shot creator. That build can do everything as well as get contact dunks. And I want to use my slasher mainly for Pro-Am, but you guys will be seeing some park videos with it. And this year, I'm actually going to use a bunch of different players instead of just playing on one player for the whole year. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been King Josh and I'm out. Peace.